the loss of a technology notable, and high-end versus low-end iPads. This is Mac Voices. Today's edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by BetterHelp. Never skip therapy day with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash macvoices today to get 10% off your first month. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Apple community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, it's Mac Voices Live, Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, whatever time that is, wherever you are. We're on YouTube at youtube.com slash TV. Our friends are slowly getting back into the groove here. Um, I have to apologize to you because we were dark for two weeks. The The second week was planned, and I knew about it, and but, you know, I don't like to announce it too far out. And then the first week kind of came upon me very unexpectedly. So for those of you who may have showed up two weeks ago expecting a live show, you didn't get it, and I'm so sorry. And I neglected to even think about putting it on social media because of everything. I did have it in the dispatch. So if, you, if you're if you a dispatch subscriber, subscriber, you heard about it. But yeah, it was one of those things, and I apologize. But we're back now and stable for at least a few weeks, or as stable as this group ever gets. So Chuck, what I'm hearing is if you want to know what's up with the show, then you should be a, a paying subscriber. Otherwise, you're just kind of on your own. Uh, Jeff, not necessarily. Um, uh, I'm it, trying you, to drum up more subscribers, and you're ruining it. Well, <laughs> well, but I'm tr- I'm trying to be honest. Um, yeah, to, to subscribe to the Dispatch, you don't have to be a, a, a Patreon supporter or anything else. Just subscribe, and it's the weekly newsletter. And I, I you know, I tr- that goes out on Friday evenings. Um, actually, technically, it publishes Saturday morning, so it's as up to date as I can make it. Um, but you know, if you want to be in on the on the patron, a Patreon stuff, and be on our Discord and our our Slack, by all means, um, subscribe there and or subscribe to Patreon. You'll get access to those. I wasn't expecting to do a commercial, but right off the bat, that's what we do. So there we go. Uh, so I'm going to go around the room as we always do, let you know who's here, and then we've got a lot of stuff to catch up on. Um, I'm I'm afraid we won't be able to get to everything unless we go for three or four hours, but we're going to try to pick and choose a little bit and keep it moving. Um, beating out uh, someone else for the top left of my screen tonight, Mr. Marty Gensius. Marty, it's good to have you. It's good to be here. Chuck, hey, you want to see something cool? Sure. I know how you like surprises. Okay. <sighs> oh my goodness! Man, what you must you have really do? piss someone off to to do yeah, that. Uh, that's from that actually is from overuse of that finger. I I had some <laughs> uh, knuckle knuckle surgery this morning, and what I love about it the 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 surgeon wrote yes on the back yeah. of my hand just to remember which hand. <laughs> Yeah, they're supposed so, to be yeah, working. Do that. Does the other one say no? <laughs> no, that's what my wife asked me. Um, but she put she put some <laughs> profanity in front of it. <laughs> so, so, how do you? No, I'm, I'm, I want to ask how you ever use that finger, and I'm really afraid of the answer. <laughs> Look at the world around us, Chuck. What do you think? <laughs> okay, good point. Good point. Actually, it's it, it's my the one finger I use on this hand to type with. And I'm going back two weeks to get the thumb taken care of on the other hand, because that's my space bar thumb. Okay. Wow. So that's how I, I overwork it. Okay. Well, I'm 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 just glad you're, you know, you're okay. <laughs> that's I mean, we don't mean to belittle your surgery, please, you know. Oh no, I, I'm having but... a great time with it. I get to go <laughs> back work to work tomorrow with this finger all bandaged up. Um <laughs> So that's my joy. So you're, you're you can sending... say, "Look at me!" You know, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This happened because of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Marty beat out Dave Ginsburg, who got. I guess he hit the button just a little bit too late. Uh, so he's in second place tonight. Dave, good to have you. It's okay. Oh, it's great to be here. It's been long overdue. Two weeks is too long. Don't. Don't do that again. No, we, we're, we're, I'm so glad glad everybody's back, and uh, there was there's so much to talk about. Plenty, plenty to, to hit this week. So, well, it, it, yeah, there's a there's been a lot going on. It seems like things that I want to follow up on, and things I yeah. I 
just think are important to what people know about. Brian Flanagan Arthurs is here. Um, and so he's he's back in pro mode because he's got his tie on. So, <laughs> Brian, good to have you. Thank you so much. Great to be back. And, uh, yeah, it's been a long two weeks. So, yeah, even better. Well, hopefully I, that won't happen again, at least for a while. Uh, next up, the illustrious Mr. Jeff Gamut is here. Jeff, good to have you. Feel like I'm a first timer. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've been on in over a month. I think the last time I was on was before Max Stock. Wow. Yeah, you're right, because you were down and out for a little while. And I think I think you did. You missed two shows and then I missed two shows. So Yeah. So wow. I, I I'm learning how this whole podcast thing works. I can't wait to learn from all the pros. Where? Get a where? good bike. Yeah. Get a good hold on, <laughs> hold on. I, I'm gonna take that note. Get a good mic. Got it. Good. Um, fresh out of surgery himself, although it looks like he was performing, Mr. Jim Ray. Jim, good to see you. Wait, the introductions aren't over yet? No, not yet, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have two weeks to catch up on, Jim. I'm still Jim. Yes, good, <laughs> good. Just Webb, Webb Bixby is here with uh, one of his very, well, his wife's very bright uh, quilts. Webb, good to have you. Good to, good to be here, and uh, um, I don't want to make this a, a medical show, but but uh, I got some good news, and I was released by one of my physicians today, so I'm really happy about that. So okay. congratulations! So, That's right. great. Getting a little bit better every week. So that's, that's all great. because of Max Stock. Remember the healing powers of Max Stock? I talked yes. about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it helped. It, I swear. Yeah, we got to we got to tell Mike to promote that more. <laughs> Seeing all of us gave you some good health. Well, I, I think there is, I, I almost believe there's something to it because I know I came back from Max Talk feeling really recharged, um, yep. in in so many different senses. So, last but absolutely not least, with I don't know what that is beside him, Mister Eric Bolden. Eric, it's good to see you. What are you treating us to tonight? It's a native perennial mint. 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 Yeah. Oh, I can see the. I see. I, you I can kind of see, see the, uh, on 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 the leaves a little bit here. Yeah, there's not enough to see much of the square stem. It's a little bit of that, and a little in the flowers. Okay, so I, is I is couldn't that, send the scent out to everybody, but <laughs> well, so is that something that uh, you? I, I mean, I doubt that you can eat the the top part, but can you eat the rest those leaves? Um, you could. I I mostly have it for scent. It's in the my scent iris garden so when you're walking by it you brush the leaves and then you have a yeah i think it's an anise scent that comes up nice Mm. Mm. very nice very nice well gentlemen let's get to it um and i'm going to call on webb bixby because he reminded me this one kind of slip slipped by me um so i'm okay why is my keyboard not working all of a sudden (laughs) that's just great it must be the Bluetooth, right? There, there, we, go. there, it goes. there we go. There we go. Now it's in the chats. Webb, you brought this to my attention that um, we lost um, someone pretty important to the community. Um, I did not realize that she had had that many accomplishments. Yeah, I, and I don't want to uh, butcher her last name. I'm going to try it. But uh, it was the former YouTube CEO, Susan Wozicki, I think is how you pronounced it. Uh, for, unfortunately, you? passed away at uh, at a what I think is a pretty young age, fifty six, from a uh, lung cancer, evidently. But uh, yeah. I, I I don't know her well. I don't know her history all that well. But uh, uh, back in the early days of the founding of Google, uh, the proverbial garage that that these startups were in, uh, Sergey Brin and uh, uh, the other gentleman's name escapes. Anyway, that the, yeah, they were using uh, um her garage when, when they kind of started uh, um, this uh, this foray into uh, uh, what was a search engine and then became an advertising platform. But uh, And she was really kind of the, the brain behind the scenes that, that uh, I'm not giving her all the credit, but I'm giving her some credit as to uh, uh, how this, uh, uh, this thing that we call Google ha- has become a verb 
and has uh, become part of our lives. So anyway, oh, that, that, that's it. Go ahead. But she was also responsible for the fact that, hey, you guys, you, you really need to buy a YouTube because this, you know, YouTube was started by a couple local guys, actually Chicago guys. One guy was from Chicago, actually. I think he went to my high school, too. Uh, and uh, and that was uh, the big thing that she pushed, that, hey, you guys got to buy this this service, you, you, YouTube. This is going to be unbelievable. And then look at where YouTube, YouTube is today, making Google billions of dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it was very sad. Yeah, very, very young. And, and, and but she had a lot of accomplishments, very well liked in the in the community. Today's Mac Voices is sponsored by BetterHelp. What makes you happy? A day at the beach, a hike in the mountains, cleaning out the basement? It doesn't matter what it is. All that matters is that you enjoy it. But finding time to do those things that give you pleasure can turn them stressful, and that's the last thing you want. BetterHelp can show you how to take the stress away. Make time for yourself and dial back on the daily pressures. Therapy can be something that isn't talked about openly in some circles, yet therapy is the path to setting boundaries and developing coping skills and strategies to get you to a better place. With better help, it can be beneficial whether you're just trying to deal with the daily grind or if you're at the other end of the dial and have experienced a major trauma. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, then better help is where you should start. Completely online, completely flexible, and suited to your schedule and designed to be right for you. If you don't connect with your therapist, you can easily request a change at no additional cost or penalty of any kind. That's exactly what you want if you're going to work on mitigating your stress, a service that is focused on you. Never skip therapy day with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash MacVoices today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash Mac voices. Thanks to better help for supporting Mac voices. Well, here and we are. We're, we're, here we are. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we wouldn't be doing this without YouTube. So thank you, Susan. I don't think I ever heard of her before she passed away. Hmm. I, I knew the name, but that was all I, I had never yeah. connected a lot of the dots. Mm-hmm. I mean, so. that's on me, you know, I mean, yeah, clearly, oh, yeah. uh, you know, she's very accomplished. Well, it's, it's also on the media it, um, because she didn't get a lot of the coverage that she deserved when it should have been happening. And I mean, even look at this article about her passing. She's not mentioned in the article about her death until the second paragraph. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting point. Yeah. Well, it's one that, you know, because she's important to the, the tech community and to all of us, again, just if for no other reason than just because we're here right now with you on YouTube, I want to make sure we acknowledged her contributions. Yep. Um, next one is, and again, I, we're going to play catch up here, guys, with with some things that may be just a little bit dated, but. I thought this was interesting that the iPad quarterly sales were up. The iPad Pro were sa- up, but they're cutting the sales of the Pro are cutting into the iPad Air and iPad Mini. And I keep looking at this and thinking about all the questions over, you know, the 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 top end and Apple's a premium brand and oh my God, the prices are out of sight. And yet we seem to hear this on and on and on that now now we have another example, the iPad Pro is outpacing some of the the lower priced models. We've seen that with the the iPhone Pros models. And I just I bring it up only because it just I think it defeats that whole race to the bottom thing that all the analysts want that oh my god you have to have an entry level device, you know, that people pay, you know, $2.99 for or otherwise you're doomed. <laughs> you know, it's well I mean, I'm not surprised. I mean, the, 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 the pro device, there was a lot of, uh, uh, excitement with the new products. And then, you know, with, uh, the M4 processor, that was a huge jump. The only product right now that has an M4 processor is the iPad pro. Uh, uh, as you notice in the, in the charts here for between 2024 and 2023, uh, the iPad, the base model, the 10th gen and ninth or 10th gen st- st- stayed steady. It's still 35% of their market. Um, the iPad mini is a nice device. It, but 
you know, there's, it's, it's, it's kind of a niche uh, market for that. I mean, there's a lot of people who like it and I, I like the, the, the form factor. It's small, um, but some people just don't like it because it's too small. And it is surprising that the air isn't as high as it, as it is because you, you're getting so much bang for your buck on the iPad air for what, what it has. Uh, but you know, you, you, you go back to the iPad, the, the base model iPad, uh, the 10th gen, you know, it's, it's economics. People want to get in the entry level with, uh, with iPads and not have to spend a big dollar for it. So. Eric. Um, you know, it's sort of an unusual release, uh, because of economics, putting a, a much more advanced chip made sense in this iPad. Uh, people are keeping iPads for a really long time, so it's a rare opportunity to buy a machine, get the most advanced chip you can get, get Face ID, which a lot of people want, um, kind of all rolled into one and be able to hang on to it for a really long time. It was sort of the perfect storm of now is the time to buy an iPad Pro. Yep. Hmm. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Again, it's you know it it just I bring it up almost for the opposite reason that there is definitely a market and for these for these technology products I think the higher end is definitely more important than just trying to have something super affordable. You know, have the iPad, have the iPad there to get people into the market, but eventually they're going to want to, they're going to trend up. Visit MacVoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, Consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com